before we get into Dreamweaver, it's imperative for us to gain an understanding of how and what HTML is. Now for those who are new to web development, HTML is hypertext markup language. And what this means is that this means this is basically a programming language that governs and aids us to develop basic websites. So any basic website at the crudest and fundamental level would be constructed in HTML, um, with exception of Flash content, of course. And HTML markup language, ha like any other programming language, has a strict set of rules and semantics which govern the language. So let's have a quick look at that. What we have at the top is we have a HTML tag um, with these forward and um, closed arrows and we have HTML and we have head and the closing tag for the head like so. Within this head heading tag we've got the title tag which of course would read hello world. Now the title tag will appear inside the browser window um, and those of you who are using IE7 it will also appear within the tab in indexed window as well so that would be our title of our page some on some websites you'll see that it has an untitled page that's particularly troublesome with Google so it will not pick up your page title so that's quite important that we have that with inside the header tag like so and at the bottom we have the body tag which enables us to place an image or block of context within the body of our website mine reads the simple text over here like so and at the bottom here we have the closing tag for the body tag and again we've got the finally we've got the closing tag for the HTML tag so this is the basic structure of most websites using HTML you would have to have this structure within the markup language for it to work you'd also need to save it as .html as well there are a few tricks that we can do and I'll show you how to build this from scratch we can use something as simplest as notepad to generate and create our own HTML web pages however those of you who are using Dreamweaver Dreamweaver will naturally generate the HTML code for us so that's quite an added bonus for the designers or non-programmers out there moving on we've got something new which is called XHTML and we've now got XHTML 2.0 as well now I don't want anyone to get scared of XHTML it's nothing daunting what this means is that XHTML is extens extensible hypertext markup language is what it stands for and this was introduced in late 2001 by the World Wide Web Consortium and what they did was they replaced the HTML with XHTML in 2001. Now the web, World Wide Web Consortium is a consortium that governs the web that makes it a web better place to do in compliance with accessibility standards and generally making it media enriched as well. So it's, it's a quite a cool website. We'll just click here and here it is. Here's a World Wide, World Wide Web Consortium. Um, and what we can do, I'm just going to go back. So they introduced this in 2001, XHTML. We've also got a newer version, which is XHTML 2.0. So what does this mean? Well, this means XHTML was originally developed um, and replaced HTML simply due to browser compatibility and mobile device capability. So in other words, it, it was designed to govern and have stricter rules and it was a cleaned up version of HTML. So what does this mean to me and you? Well, we can still use HTML inside Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver supports both. However, Dreamweaver CS3 will only write code based on the newer XHTML standards. So, in other words, it's really good for us because it's, it means that Dreamweaver not, will not create unnecessary junk inside the code. So it will only create nice clean code and does not create any co any code containing unnecessary unnecessary or proprietary tags which is brilliant for us however we can still use a basic HTML if we wanted to my next tutorial I'll be working with basic HTML and I'll show you how to create and knock up a very quick and simple website in its crudest form